When you think about a natural body, I mean, for example, the hand, the hand doesn't do what the arm tells it to do. The hand does what the head tells it to do. But you take the arm away and the hand is useless. And that's how the body, that's why, I think that's why, uh, why uh, God uh, came with this, that the, 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 the body of Christ, that is, the head is the, uh, God placed Jesus as the head. He is to do the thinking and he thinks the thoughts of the Father. And so those thoughts need to be passed down to the members. So really, the body of Christ is nothing more than the, those who function together to carry out the thoughts that are in the head. And the thoughts that are in Jesus are that God shall be glorified. And so this whole idea of I can do it by myself has to do with self-glorification. And how do I become a member of that body? It's not by signing in to any particular, onto any particular list or uh, being written in as a member in that way, is it? No, there is really only one way, and that's what Jesus said, and unless we deny ourselves, take up our cross, and follow him. We cannot be his disciple, or it's the same as to say we cannot be a member on his body if we don't give up everything, including my will. And that's what Jesus has called us to, is to give up our will, just the same way he did as a, as a man. He said, not my will, but thine be done. He prayed to God. And, uh, and then we have it the same way, a body you have given me to do your will, O God. And in that giving up of our will, in order to do God's will, we come in contact with Jesus, who builds us up in one body to do his will. If, if we believe at all in the way that God has put the body together, that it's God who designed how the church or the brotherhood or the body of Christ should be. And then Peter, who got revelation from God how this church was to be built, he writes, submit yourselves one to another. And he says, yes, all of you, be submissive one to another. How are you going to do that by yourself? And this came from Peter, the one who was right there with the master and understood what the heart of the matter really was. So uh, it's clear that God has in mind that we should come into a relationship, into a working by which we could learn to submit to the laws of the spirit of life in connection with our association with one another. So we need to come together. We need to come together very clearly, and that's why it's also written, don't forsake the assembly of yourselves together. And it says, filled with goodness, able to exhort one another. We need to be there. We need to work together. We need to meet together. We need to be together in life in order to find the way, find the footsteps that the master walked. You, you can't say, much more than to come and see, <laughs> come and see how we have it together, to invite them to come and experience that interaction among the brothers.